Here's how you can tune the fan curves in your new PC build to get better temperatures and lower audible noise levels. Now, I recently made a video talking about where you should and shouldn't mount fans and radiators in your system to optimize temperatures and performance. But in truth, that's only half the battle. One thing that I absolutely swear by is manually adjusting the fan curves of the fans in your system. And here's how you can do it. What you want to do is power the PC off completely, turn the PC back on and hit delete on the keyboard while the system boots up. From here, we're gonna go into the BIOS and navigate to the fan curves. Fan curves can seem scary, but what it really is, is a graph with an X and a Y axis. Across the X axis is your temperature, while up the Y axis is your fan speed. And what you can do is map a series of points to correlate to different fan speeds. Now, before I tell you what speeds and temperatures you should be aiming for, it's also important to note that you'll have a different fan curve for each header within your build. Motherboard headers are labeled both in the manual and printed on the board itself. And these fan headers will correlate to the fan headers inside your system. It's for this reason that plugging your cooler up to CPU fan, your pump up to the pump header, and any system fans up to the sys fan headers is important because that tells your motherboard where those fans are and what the priority and task of each of those cooling devices actually is. Think about it. You want a different speed on your pump than you do on the front intake fans within your case. That's really important. From here, we can go through and we can configure each of our fan curves to have the desired effect. Temperature is both about personal preference and about what's safe and good for your hardware. I never like to see my CPU or GPU running at 90 degrees or higher. I just don't think it's necessary. But equally, I don't mind my graphics card running at 50, 60 or even 70 degrees if it's going to save on a bit of noise. This allows you to tune the fan curves less aggressively and you can actually save custom fan curves and apply them as you wish. I like to keep the fan speeds nice and low while the CPU is at anything less than about 60 degrees and then ramp it up more aggressively after this to control temperatures. Once you've applied the fan curves, you can then boot into a game and open an overlay like Cap Frame X to monitor CPU temperatures and see and hear the fans spool up and the effect this is gonna have on the temperature of your gaming PC build. You want to go through and optimize these one by one and make a clear note of what fans are where so when you're setting your fan curves, you know exactly what's happening. Happening. Do you guys like your system to run a bit louder and temperatures to be lower or are you optimizing for silence? Let me know in the comments.